<laughs> Not bad for a running back. What happened? Fine, 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 fine. I'll start here. I got I got tagged so many times. I guess I'll start here. My bad target. Anybody see what that is? Is that a fire? I think that's a fire. That's just Dude, what is it with the Ravens, man? You know, the Ravens and Justin Tucker hit the uh, NFL world record game-winning field goal. Like the longest field goal ever, also game winner. They did that to us, and now the Ravens smack us when we were five and one. Just keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket. <laughs> Peyton Manning looks pretty cool as a, as a black guy. Lamar Jackson, the Lions defense. Bro! Jameer Gibbs, first career touchdown. Is this the dagger? Hey, finally, it's paying off. My fantasy pick is finally paying off. I got 28 points out of Jameer Gibbs. I think he was the second highest scoring running back behind Kamara this week, something like that. Top five NFL teams, number one, Lions, six to 38. And listen, we're five and two. We're five and two. We got exposed a little bit. It was a bad game. Lamar Jackson to his doubters every week. Get him. Get him. Get him. Jared Goff versus Good D. Okay. Okay. Settle down. It's time you settle down. This is so aggressive. Jared Goff MVP conversation. Yeah, I know. Yeah, take it off. I'm with you. Rocky's in straight up embarrassed Amundar St. Brown. Whatever, dude. I don't want to see some almond receipt, bro. I can't take this, bro. I can't take this. Justin Tucker did what? Jameer Gibbs to go out and make some plays against a non-conference opponent, but a really good team. One that there's still some of those ghosts of Justin Tucker banging a 60-year-old, 60-yard uh, field goal. Wait, over the, uh, off the uh, crossbar and through to beat the Lions last year. They need you. Dude, but like... Look at this dude's face. Look at this dude's face. I don't know what show this is from, but this guy, like the way he's smiling, he's either so high or he's he knows what he's about to say and he can't contain it. Who talks like that? Look at him. Place against a he's cooking up a joke a really right now. Team. One that there's still some of those ghosts of Justin Tucker banging a 60-year-old 60-yard <laughs> uh, field goal <laughs> over the off the uh, cross. Julio Jones on the Eagles in 2023. <laughs> It was a weird signing. I, I, it was a weird signing. Did he do anything in his first game? I know it takes some time to learn the playbooks, but yeah, it was Eagles Dolphins. And this game was really poorly officiated. I remember that. I remember the Eagles got like every call in the book. I think it was 10 penalties to zero. What were the team stats? Penalties? Yeah, 10 penalties against the Dolphins for 70 yards. Zero. Eagles didn't get a single whistle. That's crazy. But did Julio Jones do anything in this game? Ah. He had one reception for three yards. So he technically did something. Yeah, it's just a weird signing. I don't, know, I don't know why. Eagles equipment staff when AJ Brown tells them exactly what size girl Julio... What? Huh? Jalen Hurts quick passing Julio Jones with open space. This comment sums it up, man. He's a top 10 wide receiver ever, but he's got to let it go. Just hang up the cleats, Julio. What are we doing, Titans? I think Julio's got some bills to pay. That's what I think. Julio Jones hamstring after running his first go route on the Eagles. Make it top. Make it top. Make it top. I just get hungry every time I watch this meme, bro. Howie Roseman when the Eagles need help in the second area. Oh, I remember this card. I love that card. Julio Jones trying to separate in 2023. Eight. Eight. Hey, he got one reception for three yards. Don't you count that man out. NFL cornerbacks to Julio Jones in 2023. Go be a family man. What Joey Porter Jr. told OBJ after end zone. Did he really say that to OBJ? That's crazy. OBJ was kind of cooking against the Lions. He had, uh, he had 12 fantasy points, something like that. NFL corners lined up versus Julio Jones this season. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Quez Watkins after the Eagles signed Julio Jones. Your newest Philadelphia Eagle. Me and a squirrel. Bro, this is how you know Julio Jones is old. Julio Jones looks like a grown man in this picture. And this was Instagram like before 
90% of us had Instagram. Does anybody even recognize this? What kind of fuck? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's how old Julio Jones is. Anthony Richardson. Honestly? Honestly, I could see it. The Colts organization took about six years off of Andrew Luck's hairline. Wow, the Colts rookie quarterback is pretty good. Injury on Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck is this video? Why is she strapped up with the flamethrower? Jesus! Dude, when that shit blew up, she didn't even flinch either. Is this an edit? She doesn't even flinch. That fucking shit blew up right in her face. Oh my God. Anthony Richardson, no, just slide down. It's not worth the extra few yards, Anthony. He's, uh, he's, he's putting his life on the line for Indianapolis. Y'all better respect that, man. Colts fans watching a Gardner Minshew led offense for the rest of 20. Why are we talking shit about Gardner Minshew? Gardner Minshew. Just dropped, what, 41 against the Browns? Life been getting better. This tweet has been deleted. The Colts adding Marvin Harrison Jr. with a healthy hand. It would be nice. That would be, that would be diabolical. I can't wait for Marvin Harrison Jr., bro. I can't wait. He's so good. Anthony Richardson surprises Colts fans for his birthday. Impossible to dislike this guy. <laughs> Wait, is this not? Is this wholesome? Wait, that's actually that's so wholesome. I thought this was gonna be a meme. Hey, how you doing, man? Come in, man. Come in. Come in. Come in. When the dude asked his fiance what she had to do to get Anthony Richardson to pull up, I knew there was gonna be some shit. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, tough. The NFL is encouraging active players to compete in flag football at the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. Derrick Henry getting USA's flag football team ready to play the Chinese sweatshop. The Chinese sweatshop made their whole fucking uniform, too. Made everything they're wearing. Tyreek Hill and the Brazilian canoe builder tries to press it. Oh! Oh! Yo! The German scientist who just started playing football this year after getting his sm- Holy shit! Yo, how the fuck is this post still up? This was five days ago. How is this still up? Starting quarterback for North Korea after Justin Jefferson beats him for his sixth straight touchdown in the game. He will never see his family again. <laughs> no! DK Metcalf when he loses a single rep to a Swedish paper. He takes off Jesus. That fight's crazy. Eli Apple versus an Egyptian tour guide. He's prime, baby. He's prime. Prime Eli Apple back in business, baby. The Turkish school teacher after getting sandwiched between Aaron Donald and Chris Jones. Jesus. Jesus. That boy is dead. Cooper Cup versus a Nigerian fruit vendor. Oh! Why did he cook him? Dude, look at this move. He even put the mitts up. Put the mitts up. Tyree Kill returning the opening. Ah! I'm gonna get I'm gonna get fucking kicked off. DK Metcalf when a Brazilian corner looks at him funny. Dude! <laughs> Nick Bosa when he sees they're playing. Whoa! Whoa! How is this post up? How is this up? Iran's defensive coordinator after allowing 950 yards passing and 12 touchdowns. And when you lay your head on that pill at night, so I gave you everything I had. The Russian coal miner after Jalen Hurts scores on his 17th QB sneak. Miami. Fascinating reaction here. Yo! His teammates recoiling in horror in the background. That guy's a psycho. 
How have I never seen this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This dude is up, they're up 28? What is that, 26? They're up 26 on Miami? And you're this frustrated? Who even is this? This is a defensive player? Fascinating. Guy's a psycho. Here? Oh my God. Diggs after catching his ninth touchdown of the game versus the stateless refugees. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a fantasy game, though. He is on my fantasy team. The Indian tech support agent watching Josh Allen hurdle him for a touchdown. <laughs> so fuck. Derek Henry to some overworked Japanese guy coming up his third straight 12 hour shift. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yay! Mike Tomlin, when asked why USA ran up the score and beat Syria 154 to 0. Um, because I do not care. <laughs> um, because I do not care. This is so fucked. The Afghan corner when they tell him to get back in the game and cover Justin Jefferson one on one. No! Jesus! Alvin Kamara when he catches Foster Moreau trying to leave the stadium in the elevator. I know the context of this one. That's what Kamara was out for, dude. He beat the shit out of some guy coming out the elevator in Vegas. Hey, you know, you never see two sides to the story, though. Maybe that guy deserved it. Jameis Winston begging Dennis Allen to put him in over Derek Carr. What the fuck <laughs> am I watching? Derek Carr threw this ball into the stands and got mad at Chris Olave for not making an effort to catch it. Oh boy. Carr, catch the ball. Oh. Goes deep. Oh. Not even close. You know what's funny about this? Actually, I remember this now. Michael Thomas tweeted about this. So Michael Thomas actually kind of outed Derek Carr on this. Um, apparently, Olave's route on this play was a clear route. So his only objective is to pull the safety or the corner down the field with him so that something underneath opens up. And Derek Carr is still jumping up and down, throwing a tantrum that his wide receiver wasn't looking for a ball on a concept where the wide receiver's not supposed to look for the ball. Even if he was looking for that ball and dead out sprinting, that shit was uncatchable. Drew Brees watching Derek Carr from the side. I'm going in. Coach, you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Get in there, Drew. Calvin Ridley after betting the under on all of his stats today. I hope Calvin Ridley can laugh at these jokes too. Like, does, does Calvin Ridley see this? That's the question. Has Calvin Ridley seen this meme? Because 125,000 people liked it. Probably a million plus saw it. Somebody sent it to him, right? I hope he can laugh about it now. I do hope. You just lost to Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, we're gonna get that every time. Derek Carr in a nutshell. Wow, it's a lot of Derek Carr slander today. Yikes. Dude, that's almost such a bad ball that I might just call intentional grounding on that. What? I'm actually so confused. What's so weird about this is he is tr he is staring at something though. It's not like he just threw this ball away. Like his eyes are his eyes are on something. Wow. But naked. Yeah, I mean, I'm not an NFL quarterback, okay? Like, I get it, but wow. That motherfucker's butt naked. Love their season. Checking down to Alvin Kamara. Raiders fans that tried warning the Saints about Derek Carr. Came to pass. Yeah. Derek Carr throws an interception. Jameis. But when I do it, it's a problem. Just another opportunity to get your offense this ball. Jameis, I, there's so many clips of Jameis just like just chatting it up on the sideline. Is that normal or are they just giving Jameis a lot of media coverage? The only man who can say the same. Played out, Jameis. Well, I just think we were prepared. You know, one thing my, uh, my trainer, he told me, he said, what did he say? He just told us to be prepared. <laughs> Can we please just put Jameis back in? Like, can we please? I just want to see it at this point. 
Christian Kurt, Trevor Lawrence, Jamal Agnew, Calvin. <laughs> you know, it's funny because at the start of the season, it wasn't that way. At the start of the season, I thought it was going to be Christian Kirk. So I put down a prize picks on Christian Kirk and Calvin Ridley had 10 receptions, 127 yards. I will not forget that now that Christian Kirk is leading the charge. <laughs> Calvin Ridley owners watching themselves buy into the hype of his route running videos from training camp. He was, ama he was amazing. He's still amazing. He's just not getting the targets. Not getting the reps anymore. Chris Olave on his route. Jesus. I don't feel bad at all. That's an easy catch. He just overcame cancer. Can catch cancer, but not a... Jesus Christ. Final one. Let's go Mac Jones. Mac Jones being kidnapped by the cartel after Mexico's QB asked to do a jersey swap. By... <laughs> For once, I would like a monetized video on this channel. Just one, Ghetto Gronk. That's all I ask for. We've resorted to just straight racism. Got it? Oh, bro, come on. It's a it's a meme page. <laughs> this guy said it's better than gay racism. Holy shit. British people after we beat the UK. 1776 to zero. Well, at least we don't get it. Class. All right, honestly, listen, you guys have Instagram, right? You you know Ghetto Gronk. I, I know what comes after, and I'm going to get in trouble, so I'm going to have to leave it here. All right, boys. Hey, lots of memes. I got lots to catch up on. Uh, I'll be back soon. Hey, I love you guys. I'm getting caught up right now. You guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.